Good day and welcome to Matters of the Soul. This is Erich Skuman. We're speaking about couples and building couples relationships, especially intimacy and romance. So today I want to further with a topic that I started with last time. Last time I mentioned touching and physical touch, the importance of sexual and non-sexual touch, and um, the importance of, 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 of acknowledging your mate and, and um, giving that acknowledgement that's necessary. And today I want to further that topic by saying, you know, we need to also compliment our mate and give compliments on their on their looks and on their personality and on how they what they succeed at small and and big things and um, giving those compliments builds up your mate and it also draws them closer to you and um, it creates that intimacy and it's also important to um, do that on a regular basis sometimes we think that we shouldn't compliment somebody because it's going to give them uh, some form of false self-image or pride or you know, it's it's going to become too much or I shouldn't just overdo it. It's true, you don't want to overdo the same compliment, but you can be a person who regularly talks and gives comp positive um, interaction. So when somebody has interactions with you, that they feel good after you've after they've been with you. You know, people do not necessarily remember what you've told them, but they remember how you made them feel. And that's the important part. So uh, you will make her or him feel loved and special and that will draw them closer. And then another thing uh, you can do is remember to foster and to build those uh, romantic fires. You know, we date and when we date and before we get married, we are passionate and we're in love and we can't spend enough time. I remember, you know, scratching my wife's back for hours on end as young couples. And, uh, and I would just, you know, give her foot rubs and everything. And I would just be so committed until late evenings. And, the, and, and when we get married, life catches up with us. And we have children and time and we're busy. And we get serious and we start to forget to really work hard at romance and intimacy. And, and I'd like to uh, just remind you to go on regular date nights. Not once a year. It does not help. It's too little. You can't. Because you can't be in love with somebody that you've dated once a year. I mean, then come on. So go for regular dates um, and, and, and try and have fun. Even on a Tuesday night, whatever, at home, dance in the kitchen. Do those romantic things again. I know maybe you've fallen into a pattern or a rut where you've neglected the romance and the fun. But if you start doing it again, the old flames will return. So... Just do that again, you know, and you see that in the Song of Solomon, that the husband and the wife pursues each other, and they and they make a point of telling the other person how beautiful they are, and and um, and of doing those romantic things, and write the poetry, quote somebody's poetry, do something, just make a fire, you know, you can't have a huge fire if you don't put wood and fire lighters and some fire, so you need to build the fire. And I understand we build resentments against each other and we start to feel frustrated and or even we just grow apart and, and then we have to really work at it to grow back again and to forgive and to build up the, the romantic feelings again. It does need some work. It's like swimming in the sea. You need to sometimes swim against the current just constantly. Otherwise, you will be swept with it. But in any case, so this week, if you can go and, and compliment your, your spouse, and also build those romantic fires. Start doing it. Small and big things. God bless you. Until next time. This was Erich Skuman from Matters of the Soul. Remember to you can find us on Facebook. Matters of the Soul. YouTube. Go and like and subscribe. Everywhere we need your likes and subscribes. God bless. Until next time. Goodbye.